you've worked with Prince, correct? Yes. What was that like? That was strange. It was amazing, but strange, man. What was you strange know? about it? Strange. Prince called me at 2 in the morning. <clears throat> he flew me down there to do The Most Beautiful Girl in the World. It was minus 20 degrees. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I get a call, 2 in the morning, half asleep. He goes, what you doing? I said, who is this? He says, it's me. I said, who's me? He said, the boss. I said, who's boss? He says, me, it's Prince. I didn't know his voice was so deep. This is the first time you'd spoken to him? Yeah. Yeah, because the record label said that he wanted me to do it. I mean, the, uh, his manager. Right. Said he wanted me to come do the video and all that, so I flew down there to do it, but I didn't speak to him. He liked the treatment I wrote and all that, but I didn't speak to him. So deep, how, how deep? Like deep, Barry, not like, Barry White deep? Yeah. Prince's come on voice, now. Come Prince's on. voice was deep. That was an act. He had a deep voice, and he could play basketball. That we, that we knew, right? Yeah. We've heard about his legendary uh, pickup games. What? That's right. He could ball, man, but he had a deep voice. Game blouses. <laughs> yeah, and I saw him coming up, so I, he called me 2 in the morning. He said, I'm ready to shoot. I was like, what do you mean? I got to get the crew ready, <laughs> man? He goes, you mean like now? Yeah, like now I'm sleeping. It's minus 20 degrees. Yeah. He goes, yeah, come on, we, we can get it together. I was like, let me call everybody. I got everybody together. Went to Paisley Park. People everywhere. Beautiful women that's lounging around, hanging out in Paisley Park. I, it, was like a, it was like a dream, man. And I'm standing, I'm waiting to see him. I'm like, so where's Prince? And there's these long steps. And I see this figure, like Betty Davis, man, coming down with this red, <laughs> see-through, Paisley outfit, right? No underwear, by the way. <laughs> Backlit. So Prince was... Uh... You know. <laughs> The, so, the Prince Jewels? Oh, my God. He come, you see the video? That's what he has on. He comes down the steps. And the hair and the face. And he comes down the steps, and it took everything in me not to, like, just bust out laughing. Because I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I'm ready. And I'm looking at it. I'm going, oh, man, we may, have to come, we may have to cover some things up, you know? Because he was like, no, I'm not changing. And of all the times that your camera couldn't have been out of focus. Yeah, it was, and, he, and he did it that way, too. Oh, I just had the, had the DP. I said, turn the light down low no kidding. down there. Yeah. And so uh, yeah. was he like a one-take artist? I mean, what, what he was he? He was amazing, man. He got up on stage, and he just did his thing, man. One entertainer. Just, I mean, yeah. uh, his halftime show in, in the rain. We were talking yeah. about it earlier tonight, yeah. uh, earlier on the show, yeah. in the rain at the Super Bowl. Yeah. And and he was the only halftime performer. I want to call him an act. Right. Only halftime performer who did not take questions in a Q and A prior to right. the Super Bowl in a press setting. He said, "I'm gonna just perform two or three songs," and it was unbelievable. And tore the house down. He did. Well, here's he the thing. People like Denzel. Mm -hmm. Denzel doesn't like doing press and all that stuff. He likes to do the work. He just did a four-hour play in New York, Iceman Cometh. People like Prince, they love the work. You turn on your cameras, you turn on their mics, and the magic, it just happens. You know, It's something that's um, it's a gift they have, and they're in the moment. It's like, again, you can't train Tom Brady to be Tom Brady or Le'Veon Bell to be Le'Veon Bell or Antonio Brown or Lynn Swan or any of these cap. Michael Jordan, it's something in them that they have that's special. And uh, I think that's the, that's the beauty of Prince. I mean, I saw that when I turned my cameras on because he was a little guy, you know, he's a little short guy and right. he had this whole thing. And I'm like, what, what is going on? Man, he got up on that stage, he was a giant. And I just, my camera started moving around him and I was just fascinated with him. So I've been blessed to work with those. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.